Fear the Power of Sinead, welcome to another Grand Chosen 3 Let's Play video. Before I get started, be sure to watch the whole video, burn up the like button, just show the subscribe button, speak to the notification bell, leave a comment down below, follow me to the Great Sinead, check out all my other YouTube videos I have playlists, check out, oh no, never mind. Be sure to do everything I just said, it has helped out a lot, I just appreciate support and feedback. Uh, give me just a sec, I need to adjust the screen and then we can get rock and rolling. There we go, much better. So, anyway, in today's episode of GT3, we will be finishing the rally events. And I'm gonna hate it because we're using this. Unfortunately, I don't have a choice. So, uh, it took me a little longer to get started here because the brightness was overly high. So, yeah, I managed to change it. And... It looks much better. It was really bright. I was like, holy crap, I can't record like this. <sighs> that was terrible. It was the worst quality in the... Not quality. It wasn't the contrast in color. It was the brightness. It was up at like 80, so it turned it down to 60. Because the screen was like kind of all white. It looked way too bad. So, yeah, I... Uh, I was wondering what the heck was going on. Well, uh, maybe the TV was like, oh, I'm like, please don't. I need this TV for so many video series. Oh, God. This is exactly why I did not want to use this thing. It's terrible on launches. I've made it work plenty of times, even on dirt tracks. I've made it work on Tahiti Circuit. Yeah, this thing does not really turn all that well either. So I'll be doing two GT3 videos, and then I started work on episode 24 of the castle, so I'll be finishing that up. I've only done like 10 minutes of like the 57. So I got a lot of work that I need to do. I'm getting so much closer to being done with that castle. I'm like 82 and a half percent done. I did the math. I thought it was 29, but it's actually 28. And I didn't do the automatic storage system like I promised. Currently working on the last room in the main level of the castle. Which is in the tower. One of the one of the last towers I did. Made a little mistake from earlier, but I was thankful I was able to catch it and it had no effect really on on the build. Just that the windows needed to be up one. So there's a couple of other things that I like to talk about now that I talked about the castle and complained about why I had a little bit of issues trying to start a recording. But now we're going to get into the good stuff. Obviously, this is the final round. Am I happy? Yes, because then I'll get to move on to the arcade series. So how I'll be handling the arcade series, I'll be saying this one final time. We'll do areas B, A, B, C, D, first three races in each episode. And then areas E and F, we'll do the first three races in areas E and F, and then do the last two in area E and F. But I have to go in order, so area A will be first, then B, then C, and so on. And then once we're done with those, we're going to be doing the time trials, just to get them out of the way. And then we're going to start the professional. Which should be... Fun. Because once my brother, well, 
My brother told me that once he's done with his conflict as a Storm playthrough, he will be lending the PS2 back over to me. That brings me all smiles, because I'm glad to hear that. Because I will have full control again. Because I also have a new game that I can try out. As in, a game from when I was a little freaking kid. Corvette is the game. And I'm very excited to play that game again, because that game... As I said, I played a lot of when I was a little kid. I can't even remember the last time I actually touched that game until Christmas Day. This car is a pile of dumb. I'm very excited uh, about playing that game. I don't know if I'll make any videos on it, but I think I'm just going to keep it to myself. However, there is one game that I would love to do videos on, and it's for the Switch. And it's a game my sister got me, and I'm so excited. Unfortunately, I've almost beaten the game already, uh, and I've only played it for four days. Um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. You heard that. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I will probably make some videos on just free play. Free roaming. I love the team that I have. I think it's actually really good. A really good setup. Now, one of those six Pokemon on my team is starting to become a favorite of mine, and it's already showing. Like, yesterday, I pretty much replaced my starter Pokemon, well, I didn't get rid of my starter Pokemon, my starter Pokemon is now like a level 68, but what I did is I swapped spots so this Pokemon could be my new lead team Pokemon member of mine. I have some pretty good ones, I have Floatzel, no surprise, I have Flareon, kind of an interesting choice for me, I have Ampharos, I have Meow Scarada. Um, oh crap. Who was the other? Guard, I have Gardevoir. But those five are all high levels. They're all in their 60s. But there's one that sticks out from the rest. We have a Fire type, Electric type, a Psychic slash Fairy type. We have a grass type, and we have a water type, but aren't I forgetting a steel type, or dark type, or something like that, or ice? Well, I already have kind of found that out, because this Pokemon has already started to become one of my favorites. Let's just say he'd be good enough to crack the top 10 easy. When I say he, it's another male. Now, I don't know how popular they are. But... I do say... Because when... He would faint in battle, I would be depressed. But none of the other five, I wouldn't be. It's not Pichu, because, well, we already know Pichu's my favorite. But, I never had this thought come across my mind, but I thought to myself, is this Pokemon strong enough to take on Pichu as far as for that top spot? Now, before y'all go ham on me, I'm like, I know. 
Pichu is my all-time favorite. He's my all-time favorite video game character ever. So why would he be replaced by somebody else? Well, let's just say I kind of have a lot of feelings. Like, I showed a lot of emotion when I used this Pokemon in battle. <laughs> and I'm kind of already gushing about it, I guess. And that Pokemon is Weevil. Yes. That thing. As in becoming one of my favorites. I even mentioned last night that it started to become a main of mine. It is level 68. Highest level. The lowest level I think is 60, 63 or 64. But Weevil is becoming one of my favorites. Yes. As crazy as that sounds, he might take Jolteon's place in that top 10. Maybe make some changes. But there's just something about Weevil, and I don't know what it is. I just started liking Weevil for no reason. Well, there's plenty of reasons, but I just say that because I'm just making up excuses with that. But there really is a reason why I chose him. Well, not to mention, I actually found a Weevil not using a Sneasel to use levels. If I used a Sneasel, then uh, I would be in kind of a lot of trouble. So I was very lucky to find a Weevil because I had only seen like two other ones. They're pretty rare, I'm pretty sure. And the only way to get them is that, that claw item, in which I have not found them. Yeah, this thing gets crappy, crappy starts, as I see. But, Weevil, Weevil, Weevil. I've already started saving pictures of him. And I've already have said that I might make a statue of him on my process. I know, I've made too many statues. I need to, like, stop. <laughs> but, in all seriousness, yes, Weevil is starting to become one of my favorites. I should have bought a stage 2 upgrade because this is bad. This car has no turn, it's crappy, it's poopy, it sucks. This is why I didn't want to use this car, ladies and gentlemen. That's exactly why. I should have bought the stage two. I could have sworn I've been able to do this with stage one. You see now why I didn't want to use this? I may jump cut it to where I... Because if I exit out of this, it's gonna... Undo my... Uh all of the races that I've done. I know a perfect strat. It's not the way I want to do it. Whoa, ride! I don't feel like redoing everything, guys. But yes, Weevil is becoming one of my favorites, and... And honestly, I have to say, I think I like Weevil's emotion more than Peach's. Because Sneasel, oh, uh, not Sneasel, well, Sneasel does as well. But Weevil is very smart. Very smart. And every time you win a battle, it laughs.
It's kind of cool, actually. But yeah. I've already started saving images and stuff with Weevil, so... Yeah, I've even got one where Weevil is pointing the middle finger. They only have three fingers on each hand, but they're, cl they're more or less claws. But it's showing the middle one. So it's a way of replicating the middle finger. And wait, late, late breaking. Got off the wall. But it's <laughs> cool. I've already have found some cool art of Weevil already, so... And I keep finding ones of where they're collaborating with Blue Art. He actually kind of works. Oddly enough. But... Weevil is dark and ice type. If only if this thing could turn. What is this guy's driving on? Good grief, it's terrible. That's the closest I've been. As if I don't start doing something to this Impreza, I'm gonna lose this race. Well, that failed. I don't know what I was doing. But I'm gonna do a dive here. At least I only wall rid once. Still have an opportunity. Like I've, I've already have changed my home screen. Or, yeah, home screen to Weevil. And I got a pretty sick picture of it that I used. Alright, I got a chance. I don't think I need to roll right. It is possible, but it's not very likely. And this car's inability to turn. Alright, final lap. And I hold him off. If I can hold him off up until that last bit. Then I think we'll be okay. I plan on playing more Pokemon Scarlet today, and maybe even trying to finish the game today. Sad face. Um, because I don't have very much left. If you guys play the game, you know what I'm talking about. I've completed the all five of the Titan battles. A nice block there. Um, one more for Victory Road and one more for Team Star, Operation Starfall. So if you guys play the game, you know what I'm talking about. It, uh, 
if I make Pokemon Scarlet videos, which I might, I'm going to enjoy it, and you'll see why I, I've, I've begun to like Weevil so much. And there we go, that is all the rally events completed in the game, and there he goes. Yeah. So, if I made videos on the game, you would know why I like Weaver. Anyway, time for our prize car. Woohoo, it's another impressive rally car prototype. But wait, there's more. Ta-da, see scooter. car that nobody ever uses in this game. So there we go. That is all the rally events done. So we're going to be spending a lot of time now in the arcade series. Arcade series? Arcade mode. That's where we'll be going to next. We're 54.9% done. Impreza rally car prototype. You guys have seen it already. Due to GT World Championship, Beginner League. And the Escudo. 973 horsepower. This thing's fast, but it handles like crap, so. The thing that nobody ever uses. Anyway, next time we will begin arcade mode and the time trials, so. And we're gonna be there for a bit for these next several episodes, so stay tuned for that. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to run up the like button, to shut up the subscribe button, speak with that notification bell, leave a good comment down below, follow me on Twitter the Greats and A's. Be sure to do everything I just said, pops a lot, I appreciate support and feedback. I forgot to mention about my YouTube videos, I have playlists. But anyway, with that, as you guys say saying, catch you guys soon.